Hi guys. So I'm really excited because I went shopping and came across these NYC um, Lovotics palettes by Demi Lovato. And I had seen one of these pop up on YouTube and seen a review of them, but I did not realize there are three of them. And I haven't seen anybody talk about the other two. So I was so excited when I found these and um, I snatched them up so that I could tell you guys all about them. So there's three different palettes. There's the Night Out palette, which is kind of like rosy colors and like greenish colors in there. And then there is the Natural palette, which is kind of more like how they're going for some kind of naked palette kind of idea with those shades. And then there's this Showtime palette, which to me, honestly, this is more of a night out look than the other one even is. It's got like the dramatic blue and purple here in it and all of that. So I've been playing around with these a little bit. I have it on my eyes today. You can see. Today I'm using the um, Night Out palette and I wanted to kind of use some of the pinks and purples and it turned out really nice. So, you know, I swatched all of these before I used them and then I really wanted to put them to the test a little bit. They're super blendable and there's so much pigment in these. The metallics are just as gorgeous as any like high-end metallic eyeshadow I've ever used. I was so shocked. Some of the mattes are hit and miss, but overall more of a hit than a miss um, for the mattes. The only thing about these eyeshadows in general, and this goes for all three of these palettes, is that they do kick up a lot of powder. So you definitely have to be careful when you're applying it. You want to tap off your brush before you apply uh, so that you don't have a ton of fallout because even when I tapped off my brush, I did have a little bit of fallout too. It was easily wiped away with a brush. So, you know, that was fine. In the end, it didn't really make any difference at all, but definitely need to mention that in case you're wondering. So there is a lot of fallout. You can feel it when you swatch them, like they are powdery, but it really made no difference in the way they applied. The shade selection is what I'm really impressed with. So you have um, 12 shades in each of these palettes. And you can see like they really did a nice job at selecting a nice wide kind of range that works together. So you have your mattes in the palette, you have your glitters, you have your metallics. Another nice dark matte on this side. You know, same with the natural palette here. It's just a nice mix of shimmers and mattes. So shimmer slash satin, I would say. Not like so much glitter in this. If there is a glitter shade in any of these, it's pretty much only like one shade. So there's a nice wide range of selection in each of them. Each of them has a nice brow bone highlight, um, nice inner corner highlight. Today I used, so I used this palette today. These two shades in the middle, these two metallics here, are to die for. These are gorgeous. So the majority of what's on my lid is this shade here. And they are not, um, they're not named, but they are numbered on the back. So, I mean, it's just really numbered like one to 12. And one really cool thing about the back here is that these shades are all numbered, right? So it's numbered from one to 12 this way. And on the back, they've got like four little quadrants. And it says here to create like a discreet nude look, go with these four colors. To create a glamour nude look, go with these four colors. Same thing on the Showtime, they're telling you different combinations to create these different looks. On the night out, here's a brown red carpet look, here's a khaki cocktail look, and here's a purple date look. So it's kind of cute and it's kind of nice for that people who like aren't like super creative or maybe you just really are in a hurry and you don't want to spend the time to think it out yourself. That's a really great thing and I think super cute that they would do that. Like I really appreciate when brands try to add something like that. I love when, um, you know, makeup companies put thought into what they're giving you and there seems to be a lot of thought put into these. I, lo I really love the color selection in this Showtime palette. When I got this, this is the color that spoke to me, this beautiful orange. And when I swatched it, I was just like praying like, please be as nice as you look in the pan. Please be as nice. It, it is, it's, it's just like, it's just, 
You can see what I'm talking about though, with a little bit of fallout right there, see that? But tap off your brush and you're good. Like look at the shine in this, it's just, whew, it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna give you swatches of all of these palettes here and it might take a little while but it's worth it. So um, let's do that. yet and I wanted to leave that for last as kind of a surprise for you guys because these palettes in Canada are $7.98 in the States they are $4.99 that is unbelievable for these quality of shadows I would compare these to like the quality of the wet and wild comfort zone or like the pedal pusher like that type of drugstore quality which is been compared time and time again to many, many high-end eyeshadows. It's really amazing how the drugstore is now starting to come out with better quality eyeshadows. You know, when I was a teenager, the best you could hope for in terms of like pigment payoff was about 50% of what you saw in the pan. Like it, it drugstore eyeshadows are very, very lackluster in my opinion mostly across the board. There are always those exceptions of things that are amazing, like Wet n Wild, for example. But these, oh my goodness. I am so impressed with these. I, I just can't even tell you. So the price is incredible for what you were getting. Run, don't walk, go get these. I got mine at Walmart. They were on a special display with Demi Lovato's beautiful face on it. Um, NYC New York color right on there. So I think, you know, these are brand new. I'm sure they're going to be around for a while. So if you can't get them right away, keep looking. Um, like I said, I found mine at Walmart, but I've heard that they are not exclusive to Walmart. So I've heard um, a few people in the state say they found them at Target. I have not checked Shoppers Drug Mart yet, but I know my Shoppers carries NYC. So keep an eye out for, you know, all the stores you know of that carry NYC. These will probably be popping up. The other thing I wanted to talk about was all the other things NYC has been doing expanding their line recently. It's to be honest a little bit confusing. When I went on their website, I saw, you know, a lot of things that said new. But they didn't have the Levotics stamp on them. So there was only about four products I think that had the Levotics kind of name to them, which were these palettes, um, an eyebrow pencil, a mascara, and a cheek and lip stain. That was like the only things with her name on them. But one of the things that was new and one of the things that was in the display with this at Walmart with, is these new lipsticks. These are called Get It All. That's what I'm wearing today. And these are, to be honest, these really remind me of the Wet n Wild lipsticks. One second. So these kind of remind me of the Wet n Wild lipsticks. Um, I don't know what the name of them are, but these kind, the tall ones that have the rounded kind of tip. They kind of remind me of that a little bit in formula and of course in packaging, they look very similar as well. Um, there are 10 shades in this Get It All line. I got two of them. So the one I'm wearing on my lips is called 101 Exception Nude. And then I also got 202 Fab Fuchsia. And I'll swatch this one for you since you could see what's on my lips. This one is beautiful on. Just a really nice fuchsia color. These aren't quite like as, 
you know with these ones if you've ever used these before they kind of like pull on your lip a little bit because they're very very matte these ones are actually a little bit better they go on a little bit um, easier they're a little bit more creamy and they're very comfortable that's a lot of opacity they do have a lot of opacity you can see like even the nude on my lips has a lot of opacity to it as well which is really nice um, for a drugstore these are $4.99 Mm, it's a little bit more than I wanted to pay which is why I only I only got two but I would say keep an eye out for sales because these are like a really decent formula I've really been loving wearing it it's super comfortable it lasted like I wore it all day yesterday too it lasts a really really long time the color selection is really gorgeous like all very wearable colors there's so much new amazing things at the drugstore like honestly guys every time I go on the Sephora website lately nothing has inspired me and it's been that way for a couple months and every time I go to the drugstore I'm like super inspired I'm like yes let's go let's test this stuff it's amazing let's look at all this new beautifulness at the drugstore the drugstore has been killing it and all the high-end stuff to me lately is kind of like meh like I don't really that's not appealing to me so I love Sephora and I want to be inspired by all the offerings there, but right now, like the drugstore has really been where it's at. So overall, these have my huge stamp of approval, recommendation, gorgeous, gorgeous color selections. Pick up one of them, pick up all of them. I mean, they are so affordable that it is really worth it. You won't regret it. They are really, really worth the money and amazing quality for what they are. So I really hope that you guys found this helpful today and thank you so much for spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.